Super Mario Brothers is the game that started all for the Super Mario franchise, and it's a certified classic. Hey, and welcome to the road to Super Mario Brothers Wonder, a series of streams and videos I make to build up hype for Super Mario Brothers Wonder, where I cover every mainline 2D Mario game from Super Mario Brothers up until New Super Mario Brothers U. So if you love 2D Mario or just Mario in general, do not miss out on what I have in store for you by simply subscribing, baby. Subscribe and turn on those notifications because it's a great time to be a Mario fan. As for every ranking video I make on this channel, my name is Junior Leva, aka Mr. Awesome, and I'm here to rank every level in the original Super Mario Brothers. This is going to be interesting. Drop a like, let's hit 25 likes for this amazing game and video, and let's roll the intro. World 1-1, wow. This level right here is the definition of first levels. First of all, it's a tutorial level from the very start of the level to the very end of the level. It's perfect in every way. It teaches you almost every mechanic this game has to offer from enemies to power-ups to even bottomless pits, S tier. World 1-2 is an amazing level to follow up 1-1. 1-2 is all about the underground and its main teaching is learning how to skip levels. I mean, this is the level where you learn you can walk on top of the blocks and literally skip everything, and where you can access the warp zone, S tier. Level number three, you get it, tree. World 1-3, is a tree level where it kind of jumps up the difficulty in the game. And this level puts your platforming skills and patience to the test. It deserves A tier. World 1-4 is the first castle level in Super Mario history. It introduces the fire bars, Bowser, and Toad. And this iconic saying that Toad says right here, S tier. Moving on to the second world, World 2-1. Looks like a more expanded version of 1-1. This one introducing springs and having more paratroopers makes dodging and precise jumping major key, A tier. World 2-2 is our first swimming level. And man, I hate swimming levels with a passion, especially this one, with the bloopers just being a menace, but overall a good level nonetheless, B tier. World 2-3 is a flying fish level. As a speedrunner myself, I love this level because it keeps you on your toes at all times. And honestly, it's just an overall good time, A tier. World 2-4 is a second castle level. And man, oh man, are the fire bars menacing here. You have the long fire bars right at the beginning. And then you got a hallway of these fire bars that like, ah, test your patience. Plus Bowser's shooting fire at you, so be careful. But I gotta say, yes sir, yes sir, I love the difficulty, A tier. World 3-1 is a nighttime level and the start of the third world. This level right here is the one with the infamous 1-up glitch, B tier. World 3-2, another night level, has a lot of enemies, but it's really short and unmemorable, B tier. I couldn't believe that I'd put this under the swimming level, but it definitely does belong here. World 3-3 reminds me of 1-3, but at night. This was a short level, but it was short and sweet, B tier. World 3-4 just teaches you that patience is key. 3-4 is another castle level, and so far it's the weaker variant of the castle level. B tier. World 4 1? Ah, a speedrunner's dream. With Akashu throwing spinies from the top, it makes running and jumping an adrenaline rush, especially halfway into the game. S tier. World 4 2 is another level where you skip worlds, just like in 1 2, and man, do I love it for it. If you actually decide not to access the warp zone and actually decide to do this level, it's pretty difficult since the platforming is really, really tight. S tier. World 4 3 is a mushroom pendulum level. A short and sweet level is definitely needed after 4 1 and 4 2. Honestly, this one was a nice breather, A tier. World 4-4 is a choose a right path castle level where you definitely are going to end up stressing for time if you don't know where to go. Cause you're gonna just keep going through these repeating hallways over and over and over and over again until you get it right. And defeat Bowser, B tier. Kicking off World 5 is 5-1, a daytime snow level. Not a bad level at all, I'd say, B tier. 5-2 has menacing Hammer Brothers that man, I had a tough time clearing while streaming. But shout out to the Nintendo Switch Online emulator because the challenge was practically non-existent. But if you're playing on original hardware, I can definitely see this level being a pain. Whew. And thanks to that, it deserves A tier. 
World 5-3 is level number 3. And man, is falling an easy thing for this level, especially with the bullet bills. A tier. World 5-4 looks like a clone of 2-4. And man, I didn't like it one bit. <sighs> I just can't believe they rehashed the castle level, man. C tier. World 6 1 is a nighttime level with another menacing Lancashire throwing spinies. The adrenaline rush is a little real here. It starts to kick, but it can't touch 4 1 for me. B tier. World 6 2 is another night level, and it has a hidden water level. What? Thankfully, the water level isn't as long, but man, it catches me off guard every single time. B tier. World 6 3 is a snow nighttime tree level. And it's a refreshing look because every level theme just got really tiresome really, really quickly. I mean, hey, even the castle's white. It's pretty cool. Row 6-4 is the castle level, and so far, it was easy until Bowser with hammers pulls up, and it's a, it gets a little difficult, to be honest with you. B tier. World 7-1 is a trigger-happy level with bullet bills galore and more of those nasty hammer brothers. It's a challenging level, and it's warranted towards the end of the game. I really liked it. A tier. World 7-2 is a swimming level. Now, you must know by now, I don't really like swimming levels, but I just really don't like the swimming mechanics for this game because it feels like Mario drops like an anchor when you let him go. B tier especially this part right here it's really scary world 7-3 is another flying fish level with the difficulty turned up a bit but it feels so good mid to low a tier it just can't touch the original baby it just can't touch the original world 7-4 is another choose the right path castle level and it could get annoying fast since everything can kind of look the same i never got the order down i've always beaten this level just by pure luck but all in all after completing it i'd say b tier world 8-1 is the start of the final world world 8 and this is where the difficulty ramps up and i just gotta say i'm just grateful that they gave us the room to speed run with the superstar and honestly i just love jumping through that one single platform because it makes you feel a total badass a tier world a-2 brings back the bullet bills and precise platforming and it's overall a good time b tier world a-3 is a level that sticks out to me with the castle walls being the background and the rows of hammer brothers waiting for you one after the other after the other and then the single blocks to jump to the flagpole it's just no joke you mess up that you gotta do most of this level over again a tier for difficulty and finally world 8-4 the final level in super mario brothers and da 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 it's obviously a castle level which also is a pick a path level but it feels a little bit more worth going through at some point you end up swimming in the water level section but whatever it's the final level and it's supposed to throw the bs at you anyway once you cross the hammer bro bowser time and this bowser is not playing any games this is the actual bowser every bowser before this was fake this bowser's out here to kill you with the hammers and is just ready to end you but if you get to him first you end up saving the princess and the game ends this level deserves s tier Woo! What a tier list. If you made it to the very end of this video, tell me, would you like a remake of Super Mario Brothers? I sure as hell would. New graphics, new engine, please, by all means. Sound off in the comments and let me know if you want this. And by doing this, I'll know that you watched this far into the video. And I'll appreciate you for it. Shout outs to the members of the channel. Thanks for putting that pizza on my pepperoni on a monthly basis. Your support goes a long way. And to the people who bought the Mr. Awesome merch, you guys stay looking good, man. Stay looking good always. And you, the viewer, for making it to the very end. Not many people make it to the very end of these videos. Do I have the statistics and analytics to pull up right now? No, I don't. But you're one of them. You're one of the few people that do, so thank you. The road to Super Mario Bros. Wonder continues with Super Mario Bros. 2 The Lost Levels, so stay tuned for those videos and streams. And if you haven't, subscribe, because we're going all in in this Super Mario Bros. Wonder stuff, baby, and you wouldn't want to miss it. I've been Mr. Awesome, and as always, stay golden.